Hello everyone, I am Manguel Esperanza and welcome to this video on JavaFX. Um, it's been a couple of months since I last made a video so I'm kind of out of the loop. I hope you guys stick with me here for a bit while I get resituated into things. Um, I won't be babbling on too much and instead let's just jump right into the video you guys came here for which is how to make an image or how to turn an image rather into a button. So to right off the bat when you start you're going to want two uh, images. I have a image pressed and an image release date. The image release date is essentially going to be what the button is when you're not clicking it and the or button state press is going to be what the button shows when it is pressed. Pardon these graphics, I'm not very good at making button presses and squares and such. So I'm using Java FX, FXML because I like to separate the logic of my code from the stylist, stylist from the, the, the graphical representation of it. So I'll be doing that, but you should be able to do the exact same thing in regular Java as well. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create an image view. Now an image view is something we use to display the image with. Because I'm using this in Java FX, I'm gonna give this a name, we're gonna call this image view. And we're gonna set this to, ooh, that's not right. Set this to grid column index one and grid pane, ooh, can't speak. Grid pane row index one. The reason why it's a grid pane is because by default um, idea has a Java FX template, and that template uses a grid pane. So that's why I'm using grid pane here. And we're going to want to, inside our image view tags, create something called an image. That's image with a lowercase, and that also has an ending tag. So it's uh, caret symbol, image, ending caret symbol, and then the same thing with a backslash in front of it, or forward slash in this case. And then inside that, we're going to want to do another image. Now, this time, the image is going to be capitalized. I'm not 100% sure why it's done in this particular way. If I can spell image, that'd be great. But you have to first make an image view. Then you have to make an image container of sorts with a lowercase i. Then you have to make another image inside that with an uppercase i. And then inside the brackets up here at the top, we're going to put URL. And we're going to set that equal to the destination of our button release, the button we want to, nah, what we want to show when we're not clicking it. Now, do be advised, if you are using FXML for this process, you do have to put an at sign in front of your file directory. Otherwise, it will get upset and throw an error. If I just remove the at sign and I run it now, it crashes. But if I put an at sign and then I run it again, Again, assuming everything is spelt right, it doesn't crash. And see, we have our button right here. Now, before we go ahead and go into the Java code, for the Java FX, where we initialized our, or made rather, our image view, after we set the, the row and index, we want to do something called on mouse pressed. And then we're going to call a function that we're going to make later on. So I'm going to call this uh, mouse pressed. Now, again, if you're using Java FX, FXML, you're going to want to put a pound sign, not to throw up or a hashtag, whatever you want to call it. You're going to want to put that in front of the method name, and then you're going to want to go into your controller.java and make your method. If you're using IDEA, you can hit Alt Enter, and then hit Create Method, and then it will create your method. It's just public, void, and then the name of your method. Uh, just make sure you remove the mouse event parameters because we don't need those. So just to show that if we click the button and it works, I'm going to do a system that at the print line and I'm going to click image has been clicked. The necessary amount of exclamation points. And so if we run this and we click the button or the image, as you can see down here in our console, it has image has been clicked and that runs every time we click it. And so we're going to want to add a, another uh, function call, but this is going to be on mouse released. And instead of mouse pressed, we are going to do mouse released. Now, these method names can be whatever you want them to be. I'm just having it be something easy. Yeah, released. Yeah, it can be whatever you want it to be, just as long as it's something you know what it does. And so we're going to delete the parameters again. 
and we're going to print out another statement. This is going to be image has been released, and then another set of ungodly amount of exclamation points. If we run this again, we click the button, image has been clicked. We release it, image has been released. So, how do we go about changing the image? Well, to change the image, it's a little less straightforward. First and foremost, if you're using FXML, you're going to want to call image view from your controller class. And to do that, you would also hit Alt Enter and you would hit create field image view. But if you don't do that, let's say you're using FXML in Eclipse or something, you can always just do at FXML and then the, the type you want it to be public or private and then the, the object, so image view, image view and then just the name which is image view. This is telling it to call the image view from the FXML class. I'm just going to do the alt control way because that's just what I'm most comfortable doing but there is that alternative. So here we have we have our public image view image view and we need two images so that's going to be image capital I and then I'm going to call this button pressed and it's going to equal a new image as you can see here it's in red because idea automatically imports commonly used methods and stuff image is apparently not a commonly used one so we're going to have to all enter and you're going to want to import the following it's going to be import java fx dot scene dot image dot image again but image with a capital i and now that we have that, we have to pass it a set of arguments. These arguments are going to be our file location for the, our button pressed and our button released states. So I have a button pressed. So I'm going to make a second one real quick. It's going to be image button released equals a new image. And so inside, I'm going to do sample forward slash assets forward slash button state pressed dot png make sure you have the dot png part sometimes JavaFX get gets a bit complainy if you don't have it sometimes it doesn't it's just it's a bit iffy i find i just tend to add it nonetheless now my sample dot assets dot button pressed or button state press dot png it refers to my project hierarchy because inside there inside my source folder i have a folder called asset or sample and then inside there i have a folder called assets and assets are where the, the images are placed and I'm going to do the same thing for my button released but instead it's going to be button state released dot png and so just to make sure nothing breaks we're just going to run it real quick and it crashes perfect now usually it will crash if there's some spelling mistake of some sort sample just so go ahead and double check right here it's released is what i put when it's actually released so that would be why it crashed or it should be anyways and yeah perfect see now it doesn't change because we haven't changed the image yet and this is going to be the easier part so depending on how you want it to go i recommend you just throw it at the top we're going to call our image view so we're going to do image view dot set image the reason why we made an image is because as you can see here image view takes a image argument and our image is going to be button pressed. So when the button is pressed, it's going to go to the button press state. See, it's in the button press state now, but when we release it, it doesn't happen. It's stuck in the button press image. And to do that, we're going to want to go to our mouse release and do the same thing do image view dot set image. But instead of passing button pressed, we want to pass button released that way. When we click it again, let it load, we have, it, it shifts between it being pressed and it not being pressed. And as you can see down here, the statements are still being printed. Now, of course, these don't have to be system.all.println or whatever. They can be more complex things. You can call other methods. You can call a load function of some sort. This is just really really simply stripped down for the sake of the tutorial but you can put whatever you want in here 
Uh, that's pretty much it for the most part. It's it's not hard to do. Um, it just took me a minute to figure it out because I didn't I didn't know I could do that at first. Uh, so yeah, that's everything for this particular tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Again, I am getting back into the swing of things of making a video, so I do hope this video was informative for everyone, and I hope you got what you came here for. Uh, once again, I'm Angola Esperanza, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching this video. Have a good day.